So you have a $1,200 probation fee, $50 per month, and then you have a $470 court fine. When did this happen? Um, at the beginning of your probation sentence, back in August of 2018. But you never told me about this. Oh, here we go. That That is so highly unlikely. I'm very thorough when it comes to telling you what it is you need to do. So I refuse for you to sit here and tell me that I did not tell you. I ask you every month about fees. You don't. Are you making the probation? Are you making the payment today? You don't. This is oh, the first time you've ever asked me. Are this. you kidding me? No, I'm not. Okay. All right, then. All right. So you've been on probation six months and I've never talked you've about never money? never talked to me about All right, then. You never asked me about it. You know what? <laughs> all I can do is laugh. So, That's all I can do. To make it more, because all I the only thing I knew about was the okay. classes. I, I know. I, and the courts paid those fees. And right. the courts paid for the, also uh -huh. for the swap. So why would I have the fines? Court, the courts didn't pay for the swap. They just waived the fees. That's and then it. they waived the fees for the class. They paid for those. Were paid. But your probation fee and your court fine were not waived. You're responsible for them. And if the judge didn't waive them in the beginning, they will not possibly be waived until the end of your probation sentence. So you so are still responsible for I don't them, have the money whether for you can pay them or not. I still ask you for it. That's it. That's But all. you just asked me today. That's so not I, true. I, that's not true. Here, but Hayes. I'm not going to argue with you Ms. about Hayes. it. Ms. Because Hayes. I'm very thorough. I'm very thorough. There's nothing about this probation Ms. sentence Hayes. that you don't know. And Ms. I'm very Hayes. clear about what it is that you need to do. So we're not going to argue. Here, maybe. This maybe, is not an argument. Maybe you just didn't pay attention. Maybe you're not listening to me. You block things out because you don't want to be here. But I'm very clear. I don't want to be here. But I don't block I anything out. I know. So, There's no barriers. Let me get I'm... you out of here so you can go. You're going to your DV classes. That's fine. You don't have address verification because you don't have an address. That's cool. You don't have income verification because it's not permanent and you don't work all the time. That's cool. You didn't know about the money, according to you. That's fine. You don't have a payment today and you have not seen the victim or been around the victim. That's perfectly all right. That's it. That's all. What I'm going to tell you is the next time you come in here, you're going to get sanctioned. I need all of that information. It must be provided. Whether you want to provide it to me or not, bring me documentation that you are temporarily living there. Bring me documentation that you temporarily have, an, have employment. That is a must for this probation sentence. If you do not, I have to sanction you. This is the third or fourth or fifth time that I said this to you about this sanction stuff. So I need you to do it and stop rebutting everything. I don't want to hear anything else. That's what this is. Or we can write the sanction out right now okay. and go from there. If you're refusing, then I can send you a case to court and say that you continue to not do what I asked you to do. That's it. That's all. We're not having any more conversation about it. So you can reword it any way you want to word it. But the fact of the matter is, you know about the sanctions. I ask you about this every single week, and you give me the same thing. So because you're giving me the same thing, I'm going to give you the same thing. You're going to get sanctioned, or you're going to get violated. You make your choice. That's it. That's it. That's all. I'm done talking about it. So here's your card. May 20th. May, I'm sorry, May 13th. Here's your next day. 10 a.m. Now, can I ask a question? Sure. Is it, do you have it in writing where it says that it's mandatory that I give you these information? That's our policy. But may I see that so policy? So you, you want the policy? Let me talk to my supervisor and ask her if I can give you our policy, which probably not. I can't. Or at least to see it where I can see it and really? read it, actually. You are funny. You're funny. You're making this harder than what it needs to be.
There you go. And here's the sanction form. If you don't want to sign it, I'll indicate that you will feel to sign that. And that's cool. Um. Hey, is it possible that you can come to my office for a second? I have a client that has a, a question. Hey, how's it going? He so, wants to see the policy that says that he has to verify his income and address. So if I don't have those things, also if I can't provide those things, so she says that. Which is not true, because the place where he lives, I've been there, and they do those letters, so that's not an issue. And he has given me a check stub before, so it's always just a rebuttal. Is I it, isn't it on the rules and regs that he gets in court? I think it's on that. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Rules and rights. You you signed off on this. So let me pull your file out. Everything that's required of you is on that form when you first got probation. And so it's just one of the requirements that we ask you to do. But no one said anything about but so okay. I so understand. He said I, I understand never told him about his probation fees. He's never. been on probation for six months and he said I never said anything. Everybody uh for the most part gets assigned probation fees and you signed off on the paperwork and it was all spelled out in court. She then she let never signed. Let me show you. Let me get this file yeah. out. Yeah. And then so, so when, when, I, when to you, when my get, understanding when you, when it was get, when you get written up in court, they they tell you exactly what you their how many months of probation for the child. And <laughs> they also go out of the way to tell you what the conditions of your probation sentence is. And then the officer in the courtroom will get your information, like the current address and that. And did, was, was he talked to in court? Well, I don't know, because it, it's oh. here. Okay, but he but he signed this, which is what the court order is. And that's where... Yeah. There's any probation fees I, because it, to me, from my understanding, everything was waived. They, they just said down for us. He said, So, what about fees? He said, Well, we're waiving those. Um, no, this, this, and this. They checked it off here. No way. They crossed, uh, let me see. They checked off complete drug and alcohol. This is a copy, so so they may have written over it, which is probably why you get all this. But this okay, one's no checked off. You've got 24 months probation, right? Mm -hmm. Your termination date should be 8 13 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, you were ordered to do 10, 10 of SWAT. So everything's on here, and you signed this. Okay, but okay. the fees. So the, it, it should there, say something about the right fees. Right here. Adult Probation Department, here to pay $50 a month. That was checked off. It says community, it says community. Adult, community so special conditions. Regulations. You have to pay the standard probation i.e. guide, right? Fifty dollars per month. Not to see it. It says pay all fines and fees. Assessment. But it shows no no fifty dollars per month. So that's that's exactly what was put on our paperwork. Twelve hundred dollars at the rate of fifty dollars a month. Then you've got your OOP, your Order of Protection, and then this is complete, check complete domestic violence, violence counseling. Yeah, so program. everything, this is, this you signed up. Yeah, that's the court order. Okay, okay. You, you signed off on this. The, these were the two forms. These are the orders that come straight from court. We don't decide what, what so, you get charged, what you don't. One more, one more question. Okay. But it says, it doesn't say anything about me providing those other things that she it's, wants to sanction me for. Yours is. Now, you probably didn't sign it because you weren't in, you were in custody. So. I wasn't in custody. I was oh. free. Well, I went to court. I got when sent was, from a bench. When okay. it was written up, then you weren't available when it was written up. So, but but they still we stand. Still, we still go based on what the judge ordered, and that was discussed in court, and you signed off. So we tr we take all that information and transfer it over to our stuff. And you wanted to see where in our policy it, it says, says that you have, and it says that you, you're to provide verification of, of, of address and employment. 
So whether you like it or not, you got to do it. If you have a problem with it here again, I tell you all the time, motion your case up. But you fight me and say, no, you do it. So you obviously don't have that big of a problem because you don't want to do it yourself. So whatever it is that you need to comply with, if you don't like it, you have the option of talking to your judge. Your judge will listen to you. It's not me. So I'm not going to deal with you going back and forth. And give me that back. This is not yours. This is mine. So those negative marks, what are those negative marks? What, what negative marks? Here. Oh, that's the sanction. Thank you. So that's marks. his? What neg is that that's yours or his? Oh, this is, oh, that's mine. This is, that says $50. Negative. That's $50. 50. The line stands for zero, zero. But it does the same thing right there. Four, I think you're just doing that just to be.